So there's a Zoom call that will happen soon, and apparently it's by a Shaykha who learned under one of the scholars of Islam. Um, the topic would be on importance of righteous um, friends. I don't know the Shaykha, and I haven't asked others if she was a reliable person. So I was just wondering if it would be permissible for me to join the Zoom call, even though I don't know whether she's reliable or not. Basically, Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, وَبَشِّرْ عِبَادَ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَمِعُونَ الْقَوْلَ فَيَتَّبِعُونَ أَحْسَنَةً Give the glad tidings to my servants who listen and follow the best of speech. So we unfortunately don't have the luxury of picking and choosing most of the time. If a person gives us an advice or a reminder, it is not possible to just put it on pause and say, wait a second, and Google it and go to Facebook and LinkedIn and see the background of the person and see who criticized him and who praised him. This is not applicable most of the time. So if a person is giving a reminder or a nasiha or an advice and we don't know anything bad about him, the default is he's a good person. Go and listen to what this sheikha has to say, take notes and cross examine whatever she says with the Quran and Sunnah and uh, 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 scholars of Islam to see whether it checks the boxes or not. And if it does, Alhamdulillah, you've benefited. And if it doesn't, now you know, next time I have to raise some red flags and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.